Hi, this is Athena Starseed and today is January 1st, 2018. Um, it is a new day. It is a new dawning. These are the sentinels. These are my friends, the trees. Hello trees. Good morning trees. Look how beautiful they are. Yes. Yes, let me give you a beautiful view of the trees. trees yeah the trees here on New Year's Day teach us about planting strong roots sharing root systems they all share root systems in the trees hello they share with each other the water they share with each other the nutrients and if you see, they're all lined up, standing right next to each other, like they're their own soul group. And even though they're individual, collectively, they create this big, huge, beautiful, massive, it's almost like a wall of trees that is a protection for this gorgeous backyard. I'm gonna show you this. There's a little Buddha back there. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little tiny Thai Buddha. And this is hot tub satsang. So normally I have uh, Corey here and also to Prasad. Usually we would sit here and we would just talk about what we're grateful for and talk about different aspects of us that are tapping into that divinity, into that God consciousness. So I thought today I would share the satsang hot tub with you. Since yesterday I did the burning ritual, which was the element of fire and transmutation and letting go of everything and water is like soaking into everything kind of like the holy spirit water where you can just bathe and float and soak and see how this is just completely still that's how our consciousness should be no matter what happens in life you know whether we're up or we're down or things go our way seemingly or they don't that there's always a higher perspective. And let me walk over here in the jacuzzi and let me show you our gorgeous angel. Can you see the angel from here? I hope that you can. You can definitely hear the birds. But there's an angel over there. Her name is Bella Grace. And Bella, Bella means beautiful. And God sees everybody as beautiful. And if we could see the way God sees everything and everyone is beautiful, this would allow us to have more compassion for our brothers and sisters and all the different insults and all the different injuries and all the different expectations that we've had in life. It's getting kind of hot. In life and out of life that we can actually see through the eyes of beauty. There's a gorgeous tree over there and the beautiful medicine wheel. Um, so actually, I just, I wake up and I walk the wheel this morning and let me just show it to you. Let's just walk over there. Let's walk over to the wheel, the wheel of love and the wheel of consciousness. All right, here we go. Can you see the angel? She's so beautiful. Her name is Bella and you can hear the birds right behind her. Here she is. She talks about believing. And so when we believe in miracles, beyond what we can see, feel, taste, and touch, we can allow the holy energy to take this life on a beautiful journey beyond what even our imagination sees for us. Now here, this is a basket of prayers. And basically people write their prayers in here and then when they fade I take them to the fireplace and I burn them so tonight I'm gonna to probably burn these because that means that they're done cooking this is our gorgeous little connector crystal this was given to the temple by Archangel Michael and uh, this grid connects to all the rest of the medicine wheels all over the planet and this angel flies our prayers to the Sun just like Eagle consciousness so let's just do a little walk around the wheel. You can see my feet here. Can you see my feet? Here's my feet. 
walking on the earth. There's my feet walking on the earth. Walking on the earth. Walking on the earth, walking around the medicine wheel. Okay, so the first walk, let's do the walk for, for love, love and forgiveness. Let's walk the first round for love and forgiveness. And as we walk around, let's look at over here. These are little teeny mud balls my daughter and I made. And this is the queen mud ball. And basically she said, if you make it correctly and the hearts are strong, the mud balls can exist and they can live in their own consciousness. So that's the queen and her little family. And let's go around a second time for compassion for compassion for the new year. Let's load everybody up with tons of compassion so that when anything comes in at all, that immediately we can pull up into our higher self and see things right there is love. It says love, a friend loves at all times. Can we be that kind of a friend? To love at all times? So we're walking this to be a friend to love at all times. And then our third round, and let's, let's do our third round for inspiration. To take every deliberate moment forward in the inspiration of God. That God breathes through us and walks through us and sings through us and plays through us and gifts through us and grants through us. Because really, I mean, this is beautiful. None of this is mine. None of this is mine. None of this is mine. These are all just things that we're going to continue to share with one another in this incarnation. And it all has to be given back to the earth. And eventually, we all become little mud balls. We go right back to the soil. Our soul turns back into the dust and the dirt and we return to our maker where we came from. So it's best not to get attached to anything in any direction. Ah, and let's walk another one. Let's walk another one. For the future aspects of us, sending back these cosmic messages, knowing that in that inspiration that we've channeled, everything is already done. And we're not the doer, we're the beer. We're the bees, bzz, 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 busy bees, busy bees, busy bees, being the honey of our own life, being the compassion of our own consciousness, answering the call when the cosmic phone rings. Hey, hello, cosmic phone. I'm Athena Starseed and I'm gonna answer the call. What does this moment serve? And so I can respond to the moment with love and compassion and kindness. And for me, I wrote that down on the 30th. My friend Tian came over and we were doing our New Year's inspirations and I wrote kindness. You know, so that's what I'm working on. Is it easy? No, it is not easy. I'm Italian and I'm from the East Coast and sometimes I just want to tell it like it is. But in that, I realize it's really about being being a witness, the sacred witness of it all, because is it what it is? Is it what we say it is? Is it what we feel it is? Our schema or our lenses, our projection, our consciousness have effect on the waters that are calm. And so one of my master teachers, Su'u Atnam, used to tell me, go to that place beyond where the waves in the ocean are turbulent and sit in the center of the stillness that still water, that very placid lake of the consciousness. So let's just look at this as an analogy. Can you see the whirlpool in here? Can you see it? Okay, see all these ripples? So there's the water. 